So again, using supreme in the same way that Alan did, which is a, as a clear metaphor for things that could have been done with Superman. And uh, it's also evocative of the piece I did as a, a signature page in the Kingdom Come collection that I did with Graffiti, where you see Superman's kneeling over with all of the pets that were on his farm, which just happened to be parallels to all of the super pets, you know, the dog, the horse, the cat, the monkey, no Prody, though. Um, but anyways, I thought that this would be a real heartfelt kind of image of, you know, boy with dog kind of idea. Because I did some initial drawings, like about three initial drawings of the figure for what would be used by the sculptor as reference. But then, since I had a live model, I went and had him come over, put on like kind of a phony costume real quick, and then I just took photographs of him from all around, different angles. And so I wanted to make sure that I got across a lot of his likeness in the final character. So I harped on the sculptor with that. Um, Joe DeVito is the sculptor. Really made him aware of what I was looking for. And uh, I believe it was Dan Lane that painted it. Well, when he asked me to redesign Supreme, I took it as an opportunity to try and give some form and direction to his outfit that was actually communicating a certain idea, whereas the costume before was just sort of a, an image pale revision of Superman without using anything as attractive to the eye as the S-Shield. He still had somewhat of a triangular shape on the chest, but there was just nothing communicated through it. It was red against white instead of red against blue. And so I thought, let me try and make something of that, use that triangle shape to my benefit. And what I thought would be really wild is my first instinct was just to say, have it be a, uh, a band going across the chest, almost like if you think of a ceremonial banner that one would wear around uh, going from over one shoulder and down across the opposite waist, that it would have that kind of military quality to it. The, the gold armbands may look like just immediately a, uh, a steal from Captain Marvel, but the difference is actually that where did Captain Marvel get those from? He got them from military costume. That would be similar to the, even the gold bands you would see on uh, Captain Kirk's cuffs you know, indicating uh, military rank. And actually, I took the exact shape or the graphic shape of his cuffs from the graphic shape on, I think, George Harrison's Sergeant Pepper outfit sleeves. So I just sort of turned that into a simple graphic. I was actually looking at that album cover, picking up costume details that would later apply to Supreme. So it's a big melting pot. Captain Marvel, Sergeant Pepper... Superman, Kingdom Come, all that stuff all in one.